things were happening already. So we arrived, we arrived at game around 10 PM. It's pretty average. Uh, I have, I had a really nice place to sleep this weekend up in the, the second floor of a constructed building that was the church of Celeste. Um, Celeste is like the god of creation, you know? And, uh, and the person who, who owns this building is one of our players, because it's like this site where, where we, where, where we go called the Quad Wars site. And it, and it, um, like, SCA people, who are like the Society for, um, for Creative Anachronism, like, they, they own this site, uh, and so they build on it. And they have buildings, you know, that, that like, belong to them. Uh, and so forth. And one of our players is an SCA player, so they own this building and they're using it as the Church of Celeste. And, uh, and I, uh, and I'm friends, I'm friends with them. So I, I got to stay in a bed. I slept in a bed this weekend, guys. It's crazy. There's just, it's like, it's never happens. It's a LARP. I'm, I'm living, I was, I was a little wood fay living up in the attic of the church. There's like a double bed up there with sheets. And, and a pillow and a blanket. Oh my god, it was like, that never happens. That was cool. I was like, I was like, oh yeah, I got a bed. Ah. Yeah, it was good. My lazy little wood fay got a bed. But so, so the first story happens before we even arrived. Or, uh, sorry, before, before the game even started. And, um, what happened was, uh, we arrived at around 10 p.m. I put my stuff in the in the in the attic of the the church, um, and then um, and then went to talk to plot because you know you get dressed up, you get all your stuff on, and then you go pay for your game, you know, at logistics, and you give them the money, and they give you a character sheet or whatever. And as I'm walking up to get into the line to pay uh, for my for my character sheet, uh, Bryce comes over or or. Like I was talking to him for something, I'm not sure, but Bryce is one of the one of the owners and writers of the the Underworld Cena Strand chapter and one of my dear dear friends. Um and he and he says, uh Oh, oh, have you paid? Like I have to I have to talk to you about some Um for your character this week this week this weekend. And I was like, No. I I haven't yet. But you, I mean you could tell me now. I'm getting in line right now. And he's like, no, we'll wait until you pay. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to want to have it fresh in your mind when you go in the game. And I'm thinking, oh, God, no, what's happening? <laughs> it's just, it's like, oh, no, what could it even be? So I'm standing in this line waiting to pay and there's a bunch of people in front of me and I'm just thinking to myself like oh no what has happened oh no Tawny no what have you done what's what's wrong you know like we gotta figure that shit out um so yeah so I'm, I'm standing in line and I, eventually I get to the front of this line and I get handed a paper along with my character sheet and and when I get handed this paper Tammy who's doing the logistics again one of the owners of the the game and one of my dear dear friends, Tammy, uh, who's doing the logistics, hands me the paper and goes like, "You need this with your character sheet all the time, okay?" And uh, you should read that and uh, have fun, basically. And I was like, "Oh, oh, <laughs> okay." <laughs> Just fold that away, put it in my pocket, um, go and go and talk to Bryce. Um, I will get the paper and I will read to you what it says on the paper, okay? I will, I will read to you. If you're a person who doesn't want to know what the paper says and you play my game or whatever, you play in the same game as me, you, don't want, to, you don't want me to hear what the paper says, S you're like, skip ahead a bit. Just a bit. Okay, so got got my little pouch here. This is where I keep all my stuff. 
Okay. I said that more for the VODs, guys. The VODs can skip ahead. I know live you can't skip ahead. There isn't anything to skip ahead to. Okay. So this is my character sheet. You gotta keep your soul on you at all times. It's got all your stuff on it. You know, Tawny's stats and whatever. Uh, so on. But this is the paper I got. Well, let me read it for you. Let me read it for you. So, it says in bold, in bold print, there's a couple of paragraphs. See? And it says in bold print, Tawny, memory, experimental magic alchemical, alchemical formula for eternal life. Opened while asleep, meaning the memory is transplanted with heightened consequences. So I had this scroll that I wasn't supposed to open that I put under my pillow to make sure that it wouldn't open. And when I put my head on it, it popped open uh, during the night. Like, last game I was playing Tawny. So, that's that's part of that. Because uh, I asked about how to live forever. Yeah. Overview. Overview. An unhinged alchemist attempts to combine together the elixir of eternal life with vampire's blood in an ill-advised attempt to combine together the longevity of the vampire without the whole unliving state. In the end, the vampire's blood renders the elixir's ingredients void and acts as it normally would. Once per day, animal affinity. All animals are neutral or friendly for one hour when activated. Considered a charm. Magic animal affinity plus active animal affinity. Character notes on spirit. So I can, I can charm animal in a wide area. Once per day for an hour. Animals won't touch me. Animals love me. I am tawny. It's great. Passive. Tony must feed on fresh blood at least twice a day. <laughs> For every day that Tony goes without feeding their minimum requirement of blood, they'll lose 10% of their maximum body points to a minimum of one body point. Body points lost from lack of feeding cannot be restored by any means until Tony has fed their minimum blood amount once again. Feeding from animals can prevent the loss of body points from continuing. Character notes on spirit as well. Rules clarification. Tawny bi Tawny's bite does one body damage and requires a 10 count to draw enough blood to satisfy Tawny. Biting one, biting two, biting three, all the way to biting 10, and then one body. Tawny may feed from willing or incapacitated creatures in their healthy phase or creatures in their bleed counts, but cannot feed from creatures in their death counts. So that's the note I got passed. That's the, that's the, you gotta keep that with your character sheet. It's got rules and stuff on it. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a thing. Um, surprise vampirism. Yeah, but I wasn't a vampire because I was, I was still alive. Like, I, I went, I had that conversation a lot this weekend where I was like, I am really hungry. Can I be? Can I drink your blood? And people are like, "What? No, Tawny, are you okay? Are you necromantic arts? Are you undead?" No. All that kind of thing. Um, I did that a lot this weekend, but uh, but yeah, su <laughs> surprise. Um, the vigorously hug them. <laughs> Thank you, Wrangler Dead. Elf hard, so. elf hug, elf hard, elf hug. The, um, the, the thing, the thing that made that happen was I drank, uh, I, I, in a, in a fugue state, so to speak, uh, another soul took over my body, made an elixir of eternal life, and put vampire blood in it, and then I drank it. Because I was, like, crazy from this scroll's knowledge opening up into my brain. Yeah. Yeah, so that that's how that that's how that works. Whew. 
Oh. Yeah. So, uh, Bryce, Bryce, you know, explains to me what's going on. And goes like, yeah, so this is from that, and this is from whatever. Uh, it's fine. Um, I hope that's cool. And I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah, it's cool. Um, and, uh, and then he, and then he says like, and how this develops will depend upon how much you drink and what kind of attitude that you have towards it and if people try and stop you. So this, uh, this is open-ended. Uh, and we'll see where it goes. So there we go. First LARP story for today. Let's let's play some Blood Bowl. Let's play some, play some Blood Bowl. All right.